Hello, everybody. You welcome to my image processing and pattern recognition course. This is a part of this course, which is an introduction to morphological image processing. As you know, this is the whole course content. Here is a detailed content of this part. We start with introduction to mathematical morphology, then we deal with the basic binary morphological operators which are dilation, erosion, opening, and closing. Then the theory set is extended to function definition, and we can set, get some basic morphological algorithms accordingly that we will study, such as extensions to gray scale images, morphological cleaning, and morphological gradient generation. Our presentation ends up with a conclusion. What is a mathematical morphology? It is a mathematical formalism defining operations in the set theory tree. The aim is to deduce a morphological description of main components in the image. Here is some history of mathematical morphology. It was proposed by Jean Serra et al. at the École des Mines de Paris in France in 1964. They apply it first to binary images, treated as sets, and define a large number of binary operators of processing blocks such as dilation, erosion, opening, closing, granulometry, thinning, etc. From the mid 70s to the mid 80s, mathematical morphology was generalized to grayscale functions and images as well. New operators such as morphological gradients, top hat transform, and the watershed were proposed. They apply to binary images as well as gray level ones. Let's start with an element of great importance in mathematical morphology definition. It is the structuring element. As its name stems, it is a basic element which topology can be different. Varying such topology as well as the size of the structuring element yields a great generosity and gives different issues in the corresponding processing. Here we illustrate some different structuring element shapes. The cross shaped one, the rectangular shape, and other shapes that can be used. We can as well vary their sizes. Mathematically, all shapes of structuring elements can be defined by a rectangular matrix associating a true value or one for pixels involved in the structuring element shape and false or zero value for pixels not involved in the structuring element shape. As illustrated in the figure above, we define the different matrices corresponding to the different structuring elements considered in the preceding slide. Applying the set theory, the erosion of the binary image A by the structuring element B is defined as follows. A minus B equals a set of elements that once translated by B by a vector Z remains in the set A. The above figure illustrates this definition. We represent in this figure the eroded version of the set A. As can be seen, each pixel in this shape, if translated by the structuring element B, remains in the set A. One implementation of the erosion operator is to associate the mean function applied to the neighborhood of each pixel defined by the structuring element as follows. For each pixel, its neighborhood included and defined by the structuring element shape will be considered as input for the mean function. The central pixel takes the mean value in the, its neighborhood and so on until the final set will be eroded at its border pixels, as can be seen here. Here is an illustration example of computing the erosion of an input binary image. All pixels having in their neighborhood the smaller values will be modified to binary zero. Here are the modified values represented with the red color in the eroded image. Adopting the same functional approach in defining mathematical morphology operators, we consider as well one implementation of the dilation operator defined by the max function applied to the neighborhood identified by the structuring element to each pixel as follows. By applying the max function, the surrounding dark pixels will take new brighter values and we delete the set A as can be seen. 
Here is an illustration example of the deletion function applied to the above the binary matrix. The red pixels are modified because surrounded of more brighter pixels. Here is an illustration example of erosion process on a synthetic image. The original image contains many different shapes. By eroding the image, the dark pixels invade, invade bright ones. We use here two structuring element shapes, the cross shape and the rectangular one. An illustration example of erosion and dilation process on the cameraman image is illustrated here. We use two structural element shapes, the cross one and the rectangular one. The eroded image puts in relief the cameraman but amplifies the surrounding noise. The deletion operation erases isolated dark pixels in the foreground. Nevertheless, the cameraman is reduced in size. A mathematical morphology operator, which is the closing, solves this limitation. The opening operator of A by B is obtained by the erosion of A by B, followed by a deletion of the resulting image by B. Such processing can remove isolated pixels, white pixels in the image. The closing of A by B is obtained by the deletion of A by B, followed by the erosion of the resulting image by B. Such process can remove the isolated black pixels in the image. Here is an illustration of the opening operator on a synthetic image for a rectangular structuring element of size 3 by 3. Here is an illustration example of a closing operator on a synthetic image for a rectangular structural element of size 3 by 3. No great difference can be seen here because the original image is clean. Given the importance of the processing block applied to binary images and based on mathematical morphology, we extend all operators into gray level images thanks to the concretization of set theory by mean and max functions. As illustration example, is as follows, the red pixels are updated by the mean va value of the neighborhood. Here is the deletion and erosion of Lina, then an opening and closing of the same image Lina. We can notice the impact of each operator. The deletion operator makes the image brighter. The erosion operator makes it darker. The opening and closing has an impact of making more homogeneous, darker zones and brighter zones respectively while keeping the borders not affected let's have a closer look at closing and opening operators closing operator acts as follows for isolated black pixels surrounded by white pixels deletion replaces them by white pixels and erosion maintains them white thus such pixels are cleaned opening operator acts as follows for isolated white pixels surrounded by black ones, erosion replaces them by black pixels and deletion maintains them black. This is why we say that such operators ensure morphological cleaning. By morphological cleaning, borders are not affected. Here is an illustration of a cleaning effects of morphological operators acting on isolated black pixels in the brighter regions and isolated white pixels in dark regions. A more important operator useful in object segmentation is the morphological gradient operator, a systematic approach for generating image gradient A gradient based on morphological operators is to generate the difference between an image and its eroded version, as follows. Such a gradient is situated at an inner region of the object. The figure above illustrates the inner gradient generation. The size of the gradient here is of one pixel. Another approach of generating image gradient based on morphological operators is to generate the difference between a delayed version of an image and the image itself, as follows. Such a gradient is situated at an outer region of the object. The size of our gradient here is one pixel. As we can see, the bounds of the square are drawn. A thicker image gradient 
Based on morphological operators can be generated by the difference between a dilated version of an image and its eroded version, as follows. We compute here this gradient and we notice that its thickness is of 2 pixels, so that it puts contours of the image better in relief. 2 pixels, of course, for a structuring element of 3 by 3. Here is an illustration of the morphological gradient on the cameraman image. All boundaries in the image are here emphasized, even those corresponding to noisy pixels. Maybe it is recommended to apply a cleaning step before gradient computing to get rid of these false contours. Another important operator is the top hat transform. The white top hat transform is defined as the difference between the input image and its opening by some structuring element. It is given by this equation. The black top hat transform is defined duly as the difference between the closing and the input image. It is given also by a closing minus i. Top hat transforms are used for various image processing tasks such as feature extraction, background equalization, and, and others. As a conclusion, we have dealt in this part of my course with mathematical morphology. It has been proposed by John Serra in the 60s. Basic binary morphology are later proposed as dilation, erosion, opening, and closing. Then, the set theory has been extended by function definition for proposing some basic morphological algorithms. All morphological operators are computed from the basic operators, which are the dilation and erosion operators. Morphological image processing offers then both simplicity and generosity for achieving challenging image processing functions, such as segmentation and denoising. The whole studied functions were illustrated on synthetic images as well as known images such as Lena and Cameraman image. Please feel free to send me emails for any questions. You're welcome.